Welcome to pdf.co. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use pdf.co to fill forms uh, that are in PDF documents. Uh, before you can perform the steps explained in this tutorial, you have to make an account with pdf.co as well as with Zapier. And you should also know how to connect Zapier with pdf.co. If you do not know how to do this, I have made a video on these topics. Uh, I have provided uh, link to those videos in this description of this video you can check it out so let's begin uh, to fill pdf forms using pdf.co you first have to click make a zap and then you have to specify the source of your pdf documents i will select google drive because my pdf documents will be in the google drive here you have to select trigger i want that whenever a new file is added to a folder some text is added to that document uh, which basically corresponds to the form fields so i will select new file and folder and click continue here i have to specify my google drive account click continue again then i have to select my google drive and finally i have to select the folder in which my pdf documents will be uploaded and next i have to click continue button Finally, I have to click test trigger. The trigger is successful. Next step is to click continue. Here I have to select pdf.co because pdf.co is the service that I'll be using to fill my forms in PDF documents. So click pdf.co. I have to select PDF filler and then click continue. Here I have to select my PDF account click continue again here I have to add a direct link to PDF document I can select web content link in the text object basically I have to specify the value for the form fields so uh, basically in each form field there are three values to be added the first one is basically specifies the distance from the x-axis the second one specifies the distance from the y-axis and the third one is the page number so we specify 40 40 page 0 here I add 10th November 1990 in the next field I again add 40 previously it was 40 I will now add 60 on page 0 John Doe it's an imaginary name don't forget to separate the values by semicolon next I want to add age which can 40 80 and on page 0 I can add age 54 whatever you want to add and in the output PDF name you can select any name output form and click continue you have to test and review text object 0 has empty text value so we made a mistake here we did not put semicolon so now we put semicolon and then click continue and then click test and review we are successful in adding text to our PDF document in the form of fields so you can check your added text here if you go to this file you can see the text that you added appears here so this is how you can basically add text to your PDF documents or fill forms uh, that are inside your PDF documents. So the last step is to turn on your zap basically to do so you simply have to click turn on your zap and your zap will be turned on. This is it for this tutorial and this is how you can add text or fill PDF forms using pdf.co. Thank you for watching.